Okay, hi everyone. This is just a follow-up video from uh, my last tutorial, which was on installing Microsoft Exchange on VirtualBox. So now what we want to do is actually to send email between two users in our um, organization. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is on my um, server with my domain controller, I'm actually going to create two users. All right, I'm just going to create an organizational unit. This is not necessary, but um, just for clarity. Let's call this, let's say, um, company A users. Let's call that organization that. That's okay. So now I'm just going to add two new users here. Okay, now I'm going to create another user. I'm going to call him. Okay, so after I've created these users, I'm just going to go, into, go over to my Exchange server. I'm going to start an Exchange Management Console. Okay, so I'm just going to expand this. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go on Recipient Configuration. Just press OK. Alright, so I'm just going to right click Mailbox and click on New Mailbox. From next existing user so I'm actually going to um, search my um, active directory for user for existing users as you can see here there's Bimbo and Limbo uh, well there are actually other users in my um, domain but what what I did was I already, I already added a mailbox for each one of them but hence the reason that Bimbo and Limbo are the only ones that are going to show up so I'm just gonna press OK and uh, Limbo press OK next and we can just continue clicking next new Okay, it's completed, so I'm gonna just click on finish. Okay, so now I'm just going to go on one of my Vista machines and I'm gonna log in as Limbo. And in my Windows 7 machine, I'm gonna log in as Bimbo. Alright, so I'm prior to this video, I actually installed with Microsoft Outlook 2010. So basically, what we are going to do is just gonna start this program up. And there's a nice little setup wizard for us, so we're gonna just click on next. Here it asks us if we want to configure Outlook to connect to um, email, exchange, in other words, to set up our email account. So you'll just leave it as yes and click on next. So it's actually gonna auto detect our settings for us, and we can actually click next from here. And this is um, the certificate. I haven't actually configured the Active Directory certificate services as such. You'll see, you will see an X where they say this um, security certificate was issued by a company you have not chosen to trust. So I actually did not configure these kind of um, settings, so hence you will see these. But of course you do not need to do these in order to get it to work in. Um, you may actually want to do this, um, this security certificate stuff if you actually want to, meet, um, to meet the needs of your organization. But other than that, you can just proceed by clicking on yes. Okay, so what it did was I searched for Limbo test lab on my exchange server. Okay, check it to see if there's a mailbox, etc. And, and then afterwards, it just authenticates me into the um, exchange server. So after we finish this, we can just click on finish. So we are going to do the same thing for the Windows 7 profile here, where Bimbo is um, logged in. So I'm just going to go all programs and Microsoft Office, Microsoft Outlook 2010, which I installed previously, as I stated earlier. And yes, same process yes and finish so actually gonna start loading a profile you go back to our limbo here and just press ok uh, you're gonna see all these stuff when you um because because it's a fresh installation of microsoft um, office outlook 2010 so well as you can see it this is basically it inbox draft sent item so what you're going to do what we are going to do is maybe i don't know send a new email to bimbo so you can just press bimbo at testlab.com and it's up to say hey bimbo I mean hey bimbo yeah him what's up let's just send that let's go over here press ok don't make take any changes ok yes and as you can see here we actually got back the email Hey, what's up? So we can actually from here we can 
example reply we can say yeah i'm all right and maybe we want to attach a file so let's say we want to attach i don't know um, i want a small file that's not too big pictures and right, let's say we want to um, attach this tulips picture here i'm just gonna send and i'm just going back to our here and eventually this will show up eventually email we get will show up but if you do not want to wait you can always click on send receive and send receive all folders and there you go you shall see hey bimbo notice that this is not mandatory it will auto, your email will automatically come but what happened is um this this outlook won't actually communicate with um servers every single second maybe every few seconds or whatever is the default setting in uh, your um in your microsoft outlook and there we go yeah i'm all right which is what we just said and remember we attached a picture tulips.jpg so you just click on this tulips.jpg and there we go this was the picture that um bimbo sent to limbo so there's just basically stuff you can do you know send items you can look at the stuff that you sent you know what's up we sent this earlier tell you why we didn't delete anything so you know basically that's it okay to demonstrate again i'm gonna create our next email this time let's say we want to attach a um a notepad file say hello this is confidential save us save the documents info let's put it into that text save it again so now we're gonna lim this is limbo right so we're just gonna say you know send us the bimbo again and just say stuff this is very secret stuff excuse my poor use of english i'm not a nervous speaker so we're just gonna attach file here go on documents info attach this text file send it and go back to our bimbo dude or whatever his name is you see i mean get the email again this is very secret stuff you can open this text file and there we go this okay well this doesn't make any sense but whatever you get the idea so we verify that we can send one email from one user in the organization to another user in the organization um so as you can see here i've demonstrated how you can actually send email from one user in the organization to another user in the organization there are more stuff that you can do such as implementing role-based access models the implementing dag stuff like that lots of stuff you can do and lots of stuff you can do to harden your exchange server but i will not go there today because the whole purpose of this video is to actually show you how to send mail from one user and organization to another user Okay, thank you everyone for viewing. I do hope you guys enjoyed it.